Hello, traders. This is Gary Wagner with the Gold Forecast here. Approximately 12 o'clock noon in Honolulu, Hawaii on Friday, the third day of June. And this is the Daily Report, our weekend review. Gold had a nice strong finish for the week, closing up at $8.60 higher. You can see the chart, 1541 1542 bid ask spread we are looking at our daily candlestick chart what i like about the activity that i have seen is really where we have seen the market close above this is the one channel line that i felt was fairly important and you can see that we have been forming a base throughout the week but we did have a nice strong close to finish the week off itself Traders, in essence, what I have done is compressed our chart because what I want to take a look at today is to attempt to get some sort of a calculation as to where we think this particular wave, which is wave five within wave five, might go in terms of length or strategy. When we look at the prior wave five that we had, it was a very, very long one, as you can see all the way from here to here. If we have something of equal size, of course, we are going to have a, a pretty sizable run. But if I take a look at wave five being equal to this wave one, which is predominantly what we tend to look at in terms of a longer term view of the market, I think we will get a closer indication of where, in fact, this particular rally might terminate. And to do that, I'm simply going to do an analysis in which what I want to look at, of course, is the actual distance from here to here. And then I simply want to take this particular trend line and move that up so we get a better or stronger idea of where in terms of forecasting the market might take us to. And as you can see, when I do that, what we see is a market that simply approaches 1600 and as you know what i'm looking for in terms of the top of this market is a range between 1606 and higher so that this falls in line with that it's just below that and just above this top so i think we should be able to get a little bit more performance out of this last particular wave but it is a a quick and easy way for us to do an analysis because what you want to realize is that when we look at the market through Elliott Wave, we use this Wave 1 right here as our benchmark. And when we look at that particular benchmark and then draw that or calculate that out, you can see that that is where we're getting our target. And I think that would be on the low end of the scale. My sentiment is that this market will most likely have a much stronger wave five than even our wave three. So if we were to do that analysis and do a calculation there, it would give us yet another target or another objective. And by doing that, I'm simply again, looking at this marketplace and doing an extension based upon a similar move you can see that these are scalable lines so that they will move now when I do that what you can see is my upper level target and you can also see where I'm deriving that love uh, that target from and that's up around as I say around 1650 here and then 1606 those are the two basic points that I'm looking for and what I am calling so to speak my sweet spot meaning where I think that this market could trade over the next couple of months this would be a time scale that could or could not work one thing elliott wave does not typically account for is a time sequence within the waves itself fibonacci does have some work in that but i'd rather stay away from the time and look at targets and placement itself traders this is the chart that we've been using it's a 628 minute candlestick chart this was the chart that we looked at for the the recent correction that we saw the reason that i'm leaving it up is what i found that was interesting as i was looking at this chart the other day is when we do a a simple fibonacci retracement from the top to the bottom in other words from that correction that we got 
we get a 76 percent retracement at 1549 now what am i finding interesting about it well that's the point right now that we've had difficulty breaking to and above as you can see when the market did trade higher and we had a nice upward track as you can see right in here when we reached this apex which now seems to be the apex at least on a short-term basis it was unable to trade in any way above that and in fact came back down found some support in this area right here and now seems to be desiring another retest of this particular area which is that 1550 area traders i do think that that's a fairly critical area and i think that over the next week this is a real area we're going to want to watch and here's why my sentiment is this we have a nice trade on we're in at 1488 We've kept our stops very, very loose. Reason being is I did not want to get knocked out when we have one of these crazy type days such as we had here the other day. And you can see that right here where we had that low of 1518. We'll probably look to move stops and we'll look to move stops under this one particular area, which is 1511, because that should not be breached at this point. However, what I want to see over the next week is this. If the market begins to track and trade higher, but stalls or finds resistance in this one particular area, it's going to be my sentiment that in terms of our straight count itself, we're going to get, of course, we had our ABC, which turned out to be a five tier with a thrust, meaning a triangle or pennant breakout. And then we're going to go into our impulse. Our impulse is going to be one, two, three, four, five. And so we're going to find a point when we actually get this too. In other words, this corrective wave, we're in it in silver. And so my sentiment is this, if the market can actually just barrel through this area, then I think we're still going to be looking at a defined wave one because in the wave one we can actually begin to see some activity meaning a one count a two count and then a three count here this could even be four and that could be five so there are different ways that i want to look at it however on a true five count we need to exceed without a question of a doubt this record top because this record top without exceeding it a fifth wave is going to have to go above the third wave so what we want to see is how the market reacts in this area because as i said i am finding some resistance in this area and we are also expecting that wave two down that being said we've had a really strong week we've got 1542 we have picked up more equity in this trade than we had last week but traders let's be careful and let's see how the market reacts right in this area because i think that 1550 is going to be critical if it can't make it through there my sentiment is we'll see some sort of a correction we'll figure out how to pull profits then and then to re-enter after that correction however on the other side of the fence if the market can kind of just swing up and go through there we've got a different set of circumstances and thereby a different scenario that we're going to need to work with this has been gary wagner wishing you as always good trading and we'll talk to you on sunday for another daily update and review bye-bye have a great weekend many sights to see and when i look in my window so many different people to be that it's strange.